Hey, my lovely Aquarius, and welcome to your weekend and week general energy reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, check out the other signs in your chart, and check out your moon sign if you haven't already. I did enjoy doing those readings. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please do let me know so I can do them again for you. Otherwise, if you would, do like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. It's free. It's fun. It helps me out, and why not? So uh, anyway, let's go ahead without further ado and get started here. We will use this deck and another tarot deck for your uh, challenge card. We use three oracle decks to kind of give you a full spectrum here, and we don't do reversal since this is just a general energy reading for the weekend and week. Alrighty, so let's get started here, my awesome Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups, and this is telling me that we have somebody coming in for you. Uh, relationship wise, I do believe you are having somebody coming in with a either news or an opportunity for you. And I feel that it's a relationship offer. So if you're single or um, even if you're in a relationship, I still feel like there's somebody who has interest for you. Um, however, it could be too, if you're in a relationship that maybe your person is bringing an opportunity or news to move that relationship to the next level. So if that's something you've kind of been discussing or thinking about or dropping hints on recently, that's a potential too. But I definitely feel that this is um, not just a kind of, you know, communication, cooperation, friendship type of movement forward. I feel like for most of you, this is like an actual relationship type of offer. Okay, I, and I, I don't know why this is giving me that vibe, but it really, really is. So I, I, I do. Um, and if you're in a, a committed, committed relationship, like married with kids, the whole nine yards, um, you know, this may be a chance for you to, you know, they might do something really romantic for you, kind of like second honeymoon, something romantic, rekindling, uh, take you on a super awesome date, something that you're really gonna enjoy. I just, this is just screaming romantic vibe to me relationship vibe to me I, I, mean, I don't know why because typically i would just be like feeling that that's an opportunity of any sort but not this time so anyway anyway <laughs> um okay so we have the five of swords next or five of wands i'll get this right next um and that to me is showing some conflict and i feel <laughs> i feel like that this conflict has to do with that knight of cups so I'm thinking that potentially for many of you that are in a relationship, situationship, something, somebody doesn't care. <laughs> They're still going to present themselves as an option for you um, or, you know, kind of reveal their feelings for you. And it might cause some drama here. Okay. So I feel like that might be what's going on. Or if you've kind of let yourself be known that there's somebody out there, you might be like, wow, you know, my relationship's not been the greatest. You know, maybe some, a friend you have um, that you've confided in, that you've had in the friend zone. And you're like, kind of like, you know, my, you know, my relationship's not been the greatest. It's kind of on the outs or it's not the ideal relationship or I don't see anything long-term happening. And you're just confiding them as a friend, but they are not looking at you as just a friend. They are wanting out of that friend zone so bad they can taste it. Um, this is where they're seeing their opportunity to make their move. And that is going to cause some problems with your current relationship and them. Um, this could also be that, you know, you have a couple different nights coming in to vie for your attention right now if you're newly single. So if you're somebody who's recently come out of a relationship um, or even, you know, doesn't have to necessarily be recent but you know within the past few months or whatever and you're kind of now getting out and about or starting to see people or go out more or whatever um you know you might be having more than one of these nights coming into you and again everything about this is telling me that it is a jealous friction <laughs> that there are people that are going to want to vie for your attention um and that is that's what i'm seeing so um, and if you're in a committed relationship, like super committed relationship, marriage type, I feel like there's going to be just kind of like a jealous moment here with your significant other. 
this may be like, you know, they plan this super romantic date or this romantic trip and you guys go on this or do this thing and, you know, you get dressed to the nines or you are looking your finest, you're looking your best and your significant other notices people looking at you and they're, they're like just jealous and they're like, why? You know, they're kind of almost taking it out on you. Kind of like, you know, why are they looking at you like that? Because they're just not used to you um, getting that kind of attention. You know, you've been, maybe you've been married for 15 years and you typically got, you guys are like out shopping at the grocery store in your uh, sweats and t-shirt, just trying to run kids to the carpool lane, you know, but this time, you know, you're getting attention, you know, you're dressed up to the nines and your significant other's like, wait a minute, <sighs> you know. So that's what's causing a little bit of a snafu, but you know, neither here nor there, okay? So um, regardless, I do feel like this is a jealous friction and I do feel like you've got relationship romance coming into you. This is everything in me is, <laughs> it's just killing me how much that's saying that, okay? Because I don't typically get that vibe just from that. But anyway, um, and the emperor down here is your last card. So I do feel like whomever is coming in that you are leaning towards, um, or if this is your significant other, and again, gender neutral. So if you're a male watching this, this could be your wife. Um, this could be a female, certainly coming in, doesn't, it's gender neutral, but this is a strong, powerful, um, this is a figure that you would look up to, stable, um, you know, this is somebody that you are in awe of. This is like, I would absolutely want to date that person. I would absolutely want to be with that person. Or this is your person that you're already married to. So you're like, obviously into them. Um, or you're in a relationship, you know, and you know, your relationship's okay, but this person pops up, boom, bringing in some opportunities, boom. And you're like, okay, my relationship was nothing compared to this, okay? And here comes some jealousy because now you're like, okay, we got to get some conflict in here because I'm getting ready to tell my person I got to go because this is this is the man or woman of my dreams, okay? So I feel like the love, the romance that's coming in is not cheesy romance either. I think it's quality, okay? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see what the challenge card is. Um, and, and maybe that'll shed some light on here. But for me, it's kind of like right about now, I'm like wishing I was an Aquarius because I need some quality right in. But this is what I'm feeling for sure. Like, okay. Your challenge card is temperance. <laughs> Sorry. That made me laugh because it's like, you're going to have to make a decision. Um, Obviously, they're literally, I feel like they're literally fighting <laughs> over you. Ha, ah, funny. Um, so temperance, you're going to have to make a decision. Like, okay, you're pouring out this cup into this cup. Are you dumping this relationship for this one? What are you doing? You know, what do you decide to do? Are you dipping your toe in this water? Or are you staying on this land that you know is safe and sound? Or are you going into this water, which could be hella deep, but it's really nice and cool and smooth and feeling great, okay? You see what I'm saying? So temperance is gonna be your challenge. You are going to have to make a decision because you can't let this friction go on forever. You can't balance two, you can't juggle two, you don't even want to. Trust me, you don't. Even if you think you did, you wouldn't. After like five minutes, you'd be like, no, I don't, I can't, this is too much. Especially if one of them is this, because I tell you what, somebody of this quality, somebody of this magnitude will not tolerate that. Mm -mm. They will not. They will not play games. They will not play drama. They are too quality to put up with that kind of crap. And this is what you want. You want someone who is not about the drama, not about the games, not about that. They are not about to be put up with that. So if this is what you want, you better make a decision quick. So this is your challenge. Your challenge is to decide, decide well, decide fast. And if that means that you need to break it off with somebody who isn't your long term, then you need to go with your gut, okay? I've said a million times that your gut is, it's scientific, okay? They say scientifically vibrations, you can feel vibrations of in your gut, whether things feel right to you, whether they don't, there is a scientific basis to that. Follow your gut, go with your gut, okay? If your gut's telling you that that is the person for you and that this relationship you've been in has kind of just been 
something that you don't see on the long term, it's fine. You know, if you're using the word fine, first of all, with your relationship, not I'm over the moon, it's stellar, it's perfect, all of this and that, then maybe that's right there tells you the answer, okay? But let's get some um, some more clarification here. On your Knight of Cups, this is a psychic deck, let's get at it, and it is partnerships and alliances. So right there, it's telling me that. Your partnerships and alliances are coming in, and I think they're gonna be more than one, probably. It's possible multiple will come in if you are single. Um, if you're not already single, well, another one, or more are coming in as opportunities to you. And so you have to decide on which partnership and alliance you want because having many is going to be, um, you know, just not, it's not gonna be possible for you, especially not with someone of this caliber, okay? Um, like I said, if this is a work opportunity, if you are in the small minority that possibly this could be in my mind, um, you know, a work opportunity coming in where this is a relationship uh, for, you know, business or a relationship for investment or something like that. And you're making partnerships and alliances and it's causing some friction at your work because, you know, you didn't, uh, you know, you're wanting to leave to go to this other job or invest with these other people. Um, and this person that you're, you know, thinking about going into business with is, you know, very, very much a strong dominant connection, all of that kind of stuff. So you have to make a decision. Do you leave your job and invest with this person or go into business with this person, all of that? Um, that could be possible for some of you. I'm not ruling that out for anybody, okay? That is a possibility. The cards do allow for that for some of you. Again, you have to take this as it resonates. It's a general reading, right? But I'm just being honest that for the most of you, I cannot tell you how strong my intuition is just screeching at me that this is a love from the second this card came up I was like romance I feel it um yes the cards do say just the same that it could be a business situation it could be a business opportunity it could be a partnership and alliance opportunity people who are offering you a job position people who are offering you come over to my company come over to my job come work for me come invest with me and you're like okay you tell people at work that your people are up in arms, you know, you're, this is your new boss and he's the bomb.com, you know, he's trustworthy, he's everything, but do you leave the company you've got 20 years in or do you not, uh, even though it's a really great opportunity and now you've got to decide what partnership and alliance do you go with, you know, uh, you know, that's completely plausible. It is. Is it what I'm getting for the majority of my collective today? No, I still feel like for the majority of my collective and I'm not going to, I'm not gonna give you false falsities. For the majority of my collective, I still feel like this is a relationship situation. Keep your eyes open for romance, okay? Just telling you, that's what I feel. I can lie to you if you want me to, but I won't. <laughs> All right, how about temperance and your five of swords here? This is my moon deck, and let's see what it has to say about your temperance and your five of swords. Abundance. So, okay, if you have an abundance of relationships, trying to balance at one time, it's going to cause mad strife. That's five swords energy fighting, constantly conflict. You can't have it. You have to make a decision, okay? If you want there to be abundance in love, okay, for you, um, hell, if you want it to be an abundance in a job, if that's the part of the collective that you fall into and that resonates with you more, okay? Regardless, you have to make a decision and you're going to have to make the decision quickly, okay? Because again, you are dealing with an emperor energy here. So if this is a boss that you're looking at and you're in that part of the collective, they're not gonna sit around and wait on you or anybody else. They didn't get in their position this level by waiting on people. They can basically get their boss energy on and pick anybody they want and most people will gravitate to them, okay? So if you want to go for that job, they're offering or opportunity they're offering, you better jump on it quick or it's gonna be gone to the next person, okay? Make the decision if that's what you feel is gonna bring you the most abundance. If you don't feel like it, then stay where you are. If you feel like the long run, you'd be better off to just keep your time in, ride it out, 
get your retirement, whatever it is, then that's what you need to decide, okay? But you have to make a decision or you're not gonna have abundance. If you dilly-dally and you know this job finds out that you were thinking about leaving, well, you're not gonna be a favorite there and if you lose this opportunity, well, that's gone. So, you know, you could be, you know, as they say, screwing the pooch. I hate to say that, but that's really what it is. Okay. But for the ones that I feel like this is a relationship, abundance in relationships, love, togetherness. And if you look at the card, surrounded by animals and happiness and joy. Okay. If you want abundance like that, you are going to have to make a decision because otherwise you're going to lose them all. You're gonna lose it. Anybody worth their salt is not gonna be put back burnered. They're not gonna be back burnered. This quality is not gonna be put back burnered, okay? Your ex is not gonna be back burnered and then come back and then back burnered. You know, it's just not, if they are a quality person that you want, would you be back burnered? No, you wouldn't. So again, if it's worth, if anybody worth their salt that you would want, that you'd actually want a relationship with, um, you know, they're, they're not going to wait forever for you to decide whether they're worth your time. Okay. So you're going to have to make, uh, if you want abundance in your life, in any aspect, you are going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to weigh it out, do it quickly, or there's going to be even more strife. Okay. Weigh it out, do it quickly and make a decision and stick to it. If you have to go with your gut, I say this every time, go with your gut, just go with your gut. People don't go with their gut enough. I, I don't, that's my thought. Okay, don't listen to me. I make bad decisions maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's get your last card of advice on your emperor here and see what it has to say. So it says, you are the truth seeker, awakening, actualizing, and transcending. How can you invite more grace to guide you? Okay, so again, this is telling you right there. You have got to find out what you want. You've got to make the decision. You've got to choose, okay? This person is not going to wait, okay? You gotta find out the truth. You've gotta find out what you want. You've got to actualize. You've got to make it happen. You've got to, again, how can you invite more grace to guide you? You've gotta get guidance and decide what do you wanna do with this person? Because this person is not the type of energy that sits and waits for anybody or anything. An emperor does not sit and wait for anybody or anything, okay, <laughs> ever. Not in a business setting, if that's part of the collective you're in, not in a relationship setting, if that's the part of the collective you're in. So I do not care which side of the coin you feel like resonates with you. Um, and again, I, I don't know how else to tell you, but I feel like for many of you, it's just a love, it's a love situation. <laughs> Feel that um, but if it's a business situation and you have had a business opportunity or a business opportunity comes in and you're just deciding um, you know again this person's not gonna keep your job open forever they can fill it with 10 million other people that they didn't get to this position by being bad at what they do okay they did not get to be an emperor type quality guy or girl um, by not being able to get a date so if it's a relationship, do you think they're going to wait forever for you to like choose them over Joe Schmo, over your fine relationship? No. So again, seek your truth, okay? Seek your, you are a truth seeker, seek your truth, okay? What is it you, you want? What do you feel? What do you need? What makes you happy? It's all about you, it's your life. What do you consider abundance? A full, happy relationship or a fine relationship? Do you consider riding out the career you have until you retire and that's good enough? Or do you consider trying something exciting and new that might really bring you, are you a risk taker? That's, that's you. What it, you know, I can't answer that for you. You can answer that. Some people are risk takers. Some people are, they love the slow and steady wins the race. It just depends, okay? But whatever you do, seek your truth, find out what it is you need and want, and then make the decision immediately before you have full on chaos and lose the whole lot, okay? Whether it's relationship, whether it's job, whether it's finance, whatever, okay? Please 
<laughs> please for the love. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you and I uh, hope to see you back. If you did enjoy this or it resonated with you, please do like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. Otherwise, I hope to see you back soon and have a great one. Bye.